congratulations to Iowa State. I thought they played with uh, a great desire and uh, a sense of urgency. Uh, they're fighting for uh, NCAA tournament berth and probably got it tonight with the eighth win. And um, they played with a, a, a bigger sense of urgency than we did. And, and uh, we've got away from guarding like we were earlier in the year. And um, we got beaten about every phase of the game. We, we went into the game with the idea of giving up 23 pointers, and we gave up 36. Uh, we held them to three three pointers on their home court in Iowa State in January. And they, they hit 15. And I know they hit some late in the game when we were scrambling and trying to press. But uh, um, we, got, we got beat off the dribble. We got beat on the three. We got beat about every phase of the game that you can. And uh, in the first half, uh, we didn't check out. Uh, and they get three offensive boards, kick it to three every time. And, and I believe they scored nine points off of putbacks. Uh, because we didn't block out. Thought we showed great energy um, getting back in the game. I don't know what the biggest lead was. What 18, and then we cut it to six and had three horrific mistakes where we allow somebody to just drive in for a layup, and then they shoot a ball, and uh, we don't block anybody out. They fly in and get a put back on the left box. And there was one other thing that happened, and, and all of a sudden it goes from goes from six to about fourteen before you know what's going on, and then then you're out of the game. Let's go back to the three pointers. Were they doing anything different to try to get people open, or was it just a matter of, of execution? Well, it it was execution on their part, and it was a. Uh, uh, lack of following the game plan on our part. We were supposed to run some kids off of threes and not leave them at all. And the, Bren Williamson was one of those. And you look up and she gets five for nine from three. Same thing for Buckley. You know, we, we know who can shoot. And the teams that have beaten them, including us, have run them off of three-point shots. And that's what we did. And that's what a lot of teams went to doing. Uh, uh, you know, when they went on a little bit of a skid there. So uh, we followed that the first time. We didn't this time. And a big part of it is uh, when you get beat off the dribble and you have to go help, then you leave shooters open. And we knew we had to contain them off the dribble, and we didn't do a very good job doing that. I don't know what she'd scored the first half. Did she score? You know, I mean, she needs to she needs to be on the floor and be productive offensively. But um, I don't know how productive she had been before the two fouls. So um, you, you can't play a as an individual. You can't play a half uh, against a team like that, and then feel good about okay, I played well in the second half. It just doesn't doesn't work against a team like this. And, uh, you know, it, it give them credit. They made shots. They're good three shooters. They're well coached. But when you give up uh, 52 points and a half and 70% in the second half, those numbers aren't conducive to winning. What did you think about the effectiveness of your press? Is that something you're going to try to use more frequently, or is that for emergencies? Well, it was an emergency. It was an emergency. It was we hadn't worked on it at all. But uh, what what it did uh, for a while, it uh, it got them to speed up, and they they weren't in that control rhythm that they were on the half. And um, it worked for a while, and then you look up, and and they've got somebody in the corner making threes off of it. You know. Uh, and th those are daggers when you get that. But again, I say we cut it to six and have about three mistakes defensively and a turnover down at this other end. And then you look up and you're down by 14. When, when you cut it to six, you needed to, you needed to go ahead and, and take the lead and be solid on some things. And, and we weren't on that. But we were in a, we were in a uh, scramble 
gamble mode right then, and that happens sometimes. Go off of Tim's question about Liz, she gets going for that little stretch, and in the second half when you come back, Brittany was ha- kind of had it going there in the first half, but just not able to, either one of them, to kind of carry it throughout the game. That kind of just seems to be a problem that you guys have had throughout a lot of the Big 12 season, just those consistent scoring threats, and that's kind of continued at the same pace throughout. So I guess. Well, I mean, it- it is, but you, you look at uh, you look at Roe going two for twelve, Tiff two for nine, and Brittany Atkins one for four, and those numbers don't match up to the numbers that their guard shot. You know, against against Iowa State, they play numbers, they play numbers, and they're going to let people shoot shots, and you've got to make shots against them. They're not going to let you. Uh, we did get to the hole quite a bit off some dribble drives, but uh, you've got to hit 15 footers and you got to hit threes, and we didn't hit enough. And you 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 look at the stat line on it: two for 14 from three for us, and 15 for 36. You don't have to look much further to to know what the problem was right there. It's an e- it's an easier game when you're making shots. Got to beat K State on Saturday. I mean, uh, I, I Texas beating TCU last night. Uh, I believe they're going to have an opportunity to get to 11. You know, we got to get K State, and and then we go play Texas on their home court, and they're played extremely well at home all year long. But the first step is uh, um, to get K State on Saturday, and that's all we're going to be concerned about. And um, you know, but I think probably what what you've got to do uh, it's going to come down to the winning at Texas too because if you if you tie with them they hold the tiebreaker because they beat West Virginia I think that's how it goes so you know it's it, it's also about finishing these last two games in the tournament strong to try to enhance your seed in the NCAA tournament as well.